Surprising symptoms of vitamin D toxicity. Sunshine supplements and fortified foods. We've all been told that vitamin D is the golden ticket to a healthier life. But what if I told you that this sunshine vitamin, often celebrated for its myriad benefits, could turn into a health hazard when taken in excess? Today, we're diving into the shadows of vitamin D, exploring the often overlooked side, the dangers of having too much of this supposedly good thing. Stay tuned, because what you're about to discover might just reshape your understanding of a nutrient we thought we knew so well. Trust me, you won't want to miss this eye-opening journey into the dangers of too much vitamin D. Let's start by defining what actually constitutes excessive intake. It's crucial to understand that while vitamin D is essential for our well-being, there exists a fine line, a delicate balance between sufficiency and overdose. So, what exactly is considered excessive? Typically, the recommended daily allowance for vitamin D is around 800 international units for adults. This can be obtained through sunlight, diet, or supplements. However, the tricky part is that this seemingly innocuous nutrient can become toxic when taken beyond the recommended levels. Now, let's talk numbers. Intakes exceeding 4,000 international units per day for an extended period are generally considered excessive. However, individual tolerances can vary. This is where things get tricky. What might be safe for one person could be too much for another. Now, let's delve into the symptoms signaling a potential vitamin D overdose. Number one, nausea and vomiting. Nausea and vomiting, commonly associated with various health issues, can also be linked to excessive vitamin D intake. Let's connect the dots and understand why these symptoms occur in the first place. It all boils down to one crucial relationship within your body. Vitamin D plays a pivotal role in helping your body absorb calcium from the food you eat. It's a delicate dance, ensuring your bones get the calcium they need while maintaining a balance in your bloodstream. However, when your vitamin D intake goes overboard, your blood calcium levels can skyrocket, entering a territory known as hypercalcemia, a condition characterized by excessively high blood calcium levels. The nausea and vomiting we discussed earlier, they are not random occurrences, Rather, they are linked to the ripple effect of hypercalcemia. Hypercalcemia can be life-threatening and requires immediate medical attention. Number two, bone pain. Bone health is often synonymous with vitamin D, but here's the kicker. Too much of this essential nutrient can actually lead to bone pain. Yes, you heard that right, bone pain. Vitamin D, as we know, aids in the absorption of calcium, and calcium, in turn, is a key player in maintaining bone density and strength. However, when you have too much vitamin D, the balance is disrupted. Excessive calcium can accumulate in your bones, causing them to become more brittle and prone to pain. It's like an unintended consequence of overzealous bone support. So, if you're experiencing unexplained bone pain, especially in areas like your joints or spine, it might be wise to consider your vitamin D intake. Number three, muscle weakness. Picture this, you've got an abundance of vitamin D aiming to fortify your muscles but instead, it leads to weakness. This can manifest as difficulty in performing routine activities, and it's a stark reminder that even good intentions can have unintended consequences. But how does this happen? Let's unravel the physiological intricacies. When there's an excess of vitamin D, it can lead to an oversaturation of calcium in the muscle cells. This excess calcium disrupts the intricate coordination between nerve signals and muscle contractions. This disruption leading to constant muscle contraction due to excess calcium, is the very same condition we touched upon earlier hypercalcemia. Number four, kidney stones and kidney failure. When there's an elevated level of calcium in the bloodstream, this surplus calcium can then be filtered by the kidneys and passed into the urine. But here's the catch. When there's too much calcium in the urine, it can form crystals, which over time may grow into kidney stones. These stones can be incredibly painful and in some cases may even block the urinary tract, causing further complications. Now let's talk about the more severe consequence, kidney failure. This elevated calcium, when chronic, can take a toll on the delicate structures of the kidneys. The constant stress on the kidneys, coupled with the potential formation of kidney stones, increases the risk of irreversible damage, ultimately progressing to kidney failure. Now let's expand our understanding of potential symptoms related to hypercalcemia, which may arise from vitamin D toxicity. Other symptoms are constipation, loss of appetite, dehydration, heart abnormalities. If you're experiencing any of these symptoms, it's crucial to consult with a healthcare professional promptly. 
If you found this information valuable, consider subscribing to our channel. See you in the next video.